Is Figma going to destroy the dreams of those designers with less income? I thought that they were going to be good for the community. Let's talk about it. If a service is free to use, it means you're the product. Wait, no, it's not exactly that. If a service is free, that means that your attention and your privacy and your data are the product and they are being sold to advertisers or there are some other sinister motives that can be happening behind the scenes. In late April, Figma raised the prices of their standard product to $15, which is actually quite a lot more than the regular 10 that most other tools are charging. And they limited their free plan to just having three files with three pages each. What's important to note is that back in April of 2021, Figma wasn't profitable. That means that they are taking millions of dollars from investors and they are putting all that money into building new features and getting people addicted to those features to basically eventually start charging them even more because those investors are not doing that for the design community, sorry. They're doing it to make money lots of money. All of these things are usually free because this is a tactic. It's a tactic to have a free, robust and feature rich tool that you'll be using more and more with your project. And a few years pass and you have dozens of complex projects in that ecosystem, in that tool, and then you'll have to stay there. There's just no way out. I bet you've seen those articles of people writing how they quit Sketch and moved everything to Figma and how easy it was. And um, yeah, there have been like hundreds of these really. And do you know what's the reason why these articles existed? Well, aside from Figma being a pretty good product, but that's not the only reason. One of the reasons why this is even possible is that Sketch is an open format. That means Figma can read Sketch files, that means Adobe XD can read Sketch files, that means that even InVision Studio could read Sketch files. So once you are comfortable with importing all your Sketch files into Figma, guess what happens next? The Figma file, the .fig, is not an open format. So when down the road Figma becomes expensive or a new, better tool comes along, you won't be able to switch as easily and there's not gonna be a slew of articles saying how they switched from Figma to X. No, that's a closed format, you'll have to manually I don't know, manually redo everything? Or maybe just skip the transfer, maybe just leave it all in Figma and then start new projects in that new tool. So this is all a part of a plan. This is a plan to trick you into using a product, which is good, so it's not like completely dishonest, but it's a plan to get you to use it, get you invested in it with your time and attention, and then eventually those investors will want their money back. So it's gonna be more and more expensive. There's gonna be more data privacy issues as well, because even currently Figma has some pretty shady things in their privacy policy, but we're gonna talk about this some other day. The most recent change they are making is in FigJam. FigJam is like a whiteboarding tool for collaboration, and it's pretty good. It's a very nice copy of Envision Freehand, which has been done years ago, and it has some very nice features. Up until now, it was in beta, and it's gonna quit the beta stage on February 1st, and on that day, if you're on the starter plan, you're gonna be quite limited. And once again, it's gonna go in threes, so you're gonna end up with just three collaborative FigJam files at the same time. Of course you can have unlimited drafts, but I don't think that drafts are really any part of collaboration unless you're collaborating with just yourself. There might be a way around it, however. You can create multiple FigJam files right now, like a hundred of them, let's say, and then simply invite yourself from another email so that at least there's two people in each FigJam. That will make it a collaborative one and hopefully you're gonna be able to actually rename them into specific projects and then invite some real actual people down the road and you'll be able to actually use it for free for years to come unless they block it somehow but for now i think this might actually work so if you don't want to start paying for fake jam just create a lot of files invite yourself for like another email to be in there and then move it into a project. But this is part of the bigger problem. The bigger issue is that if you're thinking that you're using a very nice community driven free tool, it's not exactly that. And you need to be aware of that. You need to be aware that the more invested you are in just one single tool, the easier for them is to start charging you because you won't be able to switch. And with a closed format and 
those additional changes coming in every few months because it's been like april 2021 now february 2022 what will happen in september 2022 maybe there's gonna be an even bigger limit on the free plan because the investors will want their money back and it's always about the money so keep that in mind and be open that nothing is really free knowing that is gonna make it a lot easier for you to make the right choices have a great day cheers uh -huh.